What's going on you guys and welcome to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Starting the vlog out here in the car, we're at home. Um, we are going to be fixing the clutch issue. I think it's the hydraulic throwout bearing. Not sure, it could be the slave cylinder as well, but we're gonna replace both of them with what we have. Um, so we got another XZD400 clutch, and in the clutch package we got a clutch, um, plate, new throwout bearing, uh, new slave cylinder, and I actually replaced the master slave cylinder the other day, and we th I thought that was the issue. But once we put it on, it was not that. So if I just grabbed the whole thing, we're gonna go on, head on over to Nick's shop. Well, not his shop, but his place, and uh, he's gonna help and put the clutch and everything in for me. He's got all the tools, he's got the um, transmission jack and everything over there. So it should be a little bit smoother of a process rather than me doing it right there. But we're gonna head on over there. It's gonna be quite difficult because, as I mentioned last vlog, I can't really get into gear. So foot is in the clutch. So no bueno, neutral, nothing, nothing. So that's the current issue. And uh, what I'm going to have to do is turn the car off, put in a third, and right third. I'm going to try and push it in fourth and maybe go into fourth. If I can get into the fourth gear, I'll go on the highway. If, without further ado, let's get started. Let's head on over to Nick's place. Let's get, let's get this thing fixed and running. All right, so we managed to get into fourth gear. Getting passed by semis, this is ridiculous. I'm only going 50 miles an hour. I'm scared to put, try and put into fifth because if I get locked out, I'm gonna have to uh, pull over on the side and then restart the car and put in third and try all over again. So I'm just gonna keep it safe, leave it in fourth, and we're just gonna cruise at 50, and uh, we're gonna be there shortly. All right, so we got the uh, we got the car jacked up, made it to Nick's place. Ah. The what happened? Yeah, I think my blade's dull. Oh. So the thing with my exhaust is that it's um the clamp clamped down on the exhaust, so it's pretty hard to like take off. So we're gonna saw it off and put a clamp over it, and it'll also look better too. It's kind of welded on there right now, and it looks pretty bad right there. So we're gonna fix that, take it off, put a nice clamp on it. There's that. Yep. You got a muffler on that thing? Yeah. It's a little delta flow, like 40. Sounds good. It's too loud on the street. The train is out. How many bolts? Just two? Two left. Right on the bottom. Right there. And right here. Oh, okay. Sweet. And then we hook the train jack up to it and bring it down. So much easier about the exhaust, isn't it, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Hold everything. 
there. It's not supposed to come off. Well, it's definitely wet in there. I don't think it's oil, it looks like brake fluid. It spins around in there. It's flung all over the place. But yeah, let's get the other one in. So what, it is a slave cylinder? Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, you already placed the other one, so. There's only two things in the whole system. Yeah. New, old, new. Yeah. You mean it's actually old and busted. Old. <laughs> Give me a 10 millimeter, please. Uh, deep socket. Alright, fishing everything up. Putting the last bolts, X pipe on two meters. We got the X pipe to the cat uh, back. That was a project and a half. We got that done. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Alright. Now pull the tools out. Boom. Pump in the clutch. It's going down a lot, so I mean, it's, hard, it's working. Getting harder? Uh, not really. Cruised all the way in fifth gear, felt fantastic. Um, I do want to show you guys. Uh, I need my keys for that, so I got to go back inside. So let me pull out the clutch and the pressure plate and the throw-up bearing, and I'll show you guys during the day. It is the next day, obviously. I wanted to show you guys in the daytime. It was getting pretty dark. Well, actually, it was really dark, and I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. So let's take this out. When we re replaced it, we looked at the uh, hydraulic throw out bearing and the slave cylinder, which is in the same thing, which is right here. It came apart and this just slid right off, which was not supposed to happen, but um, it was uh, leaking as well. So that was bad in, in itself. However, that wasn't just the issue as well. The pressure plate on this was also bad. So that's the clutch right there. That seemed fine, we think. Um, we're not sure. There's a little scuffing right there, but no big deal. But the clutch seemed fine. And then even this looks fine, but this ended up being the main issue, the reason why I couldn't get it into gear or anything like that. We thought it was because of one of these forks or something, but we think it might be internal. We kind of tested to see if it was just that but it wasn't, we learned that the hard way, so it ended up being this was the issue, um, but we can't figure out why because all of these things, they look fine. And even Nick looked at it and he said everything looked fine too, so it must be like inside here somewhere, internally, but regardless, we changed everything and it ended up working, so. The fact that we got the car running again is a plus. Kind of freaked me out because when we were when we did replace it, 
um, I went inside the car and I was pushing in the clutch. He said, all right, try and put it into gear. And I put it into gear and it was kind of locking me out, but it was only because it wasn't pumped enough. We pumped it some more, some more, some more, returned the car on and uh, put it into gear and it slid right in. I was like, oh, that was the best feeling. Thankfully, that fixed the issue. It ended up being the pressure plate. And uh, now we have a working car that runs. Everything's good now. Now I need to break in the clutch for about 500 miles. And then once that happens, then we can go to the track and we have the Toyota Triple Eights. See what we run with this bad boy. Man, it feels good to have a running a car again. I'll tell you what. And huge shout out to Nick. Uh, his Instagram will be right here. If you guys are wanting to have anything done with your car, you can pretty much do anything. Pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We finally got the Mustang running again and we're all good. Stupid pressure plate. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the button down below. Like always guys, have a great day. Peace.